Hello, welcome back to the Spiders Web, and in this video, we're going to be painting the corner. Yes, indeed. So, what do we have lined up for paints to use? We only have a couple. <laughs> right, so let's start off, shall we? First off, for his, the base tone for his skin, we're going to be using a mixture of rat skin flesh and Kizzler flesh. And then for the his little loin clothy type thing, we will be using Scrag Brown. No, we won't, sorry, we will be using Doombull Brown. The Scrag Brown is going to be used for his boots. And then for the um, Boojits round here, um, his wraps or whatever they're called around his arms, we're going to be using Rack Earth Flesh. For his hair, we're going to be using, surprisingly enough, Abaddon Black. And highlighted with a little bit of Eshin Grey. For the sword, we're going to be using Balthazar Gold as the base colour. The hilt will then be highlighted with Auric Armour Gold. And the blade with... Iron Breaker. Let's see if you can see that properly. <laughs> nope. I may have to give that a good stir. I don't know yet. And then for the washes after the base coat is done, for the flesh, it's going to be, strangely enough, Reichland Flesh Shade. And then we'll follow that with everywhere else with Old Faithful Agrax Earth Shade. So We'll not get it finished if we don't get it started, will we? So let's get on with it. Okay, so we're going to find our main colours. For the flesh, we're going to be using, as I say, rat skin and Kizzler flesh. So let's get these on our wet palette and see what mischief we can do with these, shall we? So there's the rat skin flesh on the palette and we're going to mix a little bit of the um, Kizzler flesh into this. Not too much because this is a new one. Have I got an old pot of Kizzler Flesh? Is that it? No. Is that it? No. Ah, I do have an open pot. I'll put that one to one side. So, yes. We are still using Kizzler Flesh. But I'm just going for the one that is open. And not the new one. Which I, for some strange reason, have bought. So we'll pop that Kizzler flesh into there. And I think I know the reason why I bought that new one. is because I don't think there's much left in this. We don't want it as orange. Or as dark. So that's why we're using this colour. And... That's that over with. I'm going to stray off our little brush there and get the brush that we're going to be using, which is our number two Rosemary & Coal brush. A little bit of water on the brush. And then we will get some up to the bristles. 
and make a start on the painting. This is the bit I've been looking forward to for a long time. Painting my Conan minis. And the time has come finally when I can do that. <laughs> so, as you may be able to see, I've done the um, priming in uh, like grey and white. Hopefully, you can see that. Um, to add a little bit of what do we call it? I don't know what the phrase is now for this. Is any form highlighting is it something like that? I don't know. We're using very watery mixes of the paint on this so it will pick up the highlight areas and the shadowy areas. I don't know whether I should really have done this if I'm using washes but oh well I may decide not to use washes and I could have sworn I got rid of that um, being mould line there pain of the neck when you start painting you realise you've missed a mould line no matter how many times you try scraping it it's still there it's not nice oh well never mind that's going all over the flesh if I go over anywhere else I'm not at this moment in time bothered because as always it's an acrylic paint we can always go over what we've caught so don't stress out too much We may have to go over and do a little bit more. In fact, I've missed the total edge of this sword. I always miss something with these minis, don't I? Oh well. Not to worry. Um, we can always work around things that we've missed. It's not a major problem. <laughs> oh dear. I always try to get mould lines off. I know I haven't with the mansions that whoops. I haven't realised I've gone off camera then, I do apologise for that. Um I hadn't realised I'd uh, missed some of the mould lines there. Well, on these on these minis with them being very pale plastic anyway. I didn't see some of the mould lines until I got round to um, spraying them and then they all appeared. So if you do miss any, don't worry. Always go over them again. And that is what I'll probably end up doing with this anyway because it's With it being watery paint, it's not covering incredibly, so we may I just turn my little lighty thing on so I can see what I'm doing when I'm in my shadow from the other lamps. So there is the main
coat of uh, Conan. I hope you can see that. Just need to make sure that it's all done and I've not missed anything which it appears to be. All right. Okay, so that's the flesh done. Let us now put that piece of paper down between my legs so I can grab onto it whenever I want to. Let's now go over with the Doom Bull Brown. There we are. I'll put that on the pallet. And we'll get our, again, number two brush. some of this on the brush and just go over where we know is going to be the um, loinclothy type thing that he's wearing once again if you do Accidentally get anywhere that you shouldn't. Don't worry, it's only the base coat. This we can always turn it up again when we come to give this a second coat. Because I so with this being quite watery, we are going to need a second coat because, as we know now, a th two thin coats. Is better than one thick coat. There we go. And I'm just wondering as to whether or not. With this going on rather like a wash, I'm actually wondering whether or not um, it's going to give the same effect as it would a wash, as a wash would. And if so, I may not need a second coat on this because it may have done our job for us. But we will find out when it's all dried. So I'll list that done. Next, I think we will do her. And that is going to be, as we say, black. Have it on black, so we'll get that, some of that. On the palette. And see how we go with that. A little bit of water on the brush and once more we'll just go out the hair And that's what it looks like to be um, a necklace of teeth there. So we will add another colour into this equation, which will be Screaming Skull. And that will be the teeth on the necklace. And again, with this going on as a 
kind of a wash. We may not need to highlight once it's dried, but we'll see. We'll only see when it has dried. We may just need to go over it again with the black. Just so the hair is full. Yeah. When all said and done, is that black and a little bit of paler colour on top to give it the highlights so as I say it may or may not need a second coat but we'll soon find out that's the the hair done next we said we're going to be using um what is it called not Kizzler Flesh Scrag Brown for the um, for the boots and that will go down there with a little bit of a an unintended flourish <laughs> to a twitchy hand. Okay. Water on the brush and once more we'll go with washing the boots. Hope you can see this. Again, not interested about getting it on the on the bases because that's going to be sorted a little later. We we'll put all sorts of stuff on it. All we're doing is painting the miniature. We're not worried about the base. is as always our prime concern until it comes the time when the base needs to be done and boots sorted out. Hopefully I've not missed anywhere. I have the right on the front. Always miss something. <laughs> there we have it. And now it's time for the Brackarth flesh for the wrist wraps or whatever it may be. Pop a little bit of this onto our palette. As I say, this is the Rakarth Flash. Water on the um, brush. And then we can just go straight into this. And just do these wraps. Just 
like so. I'm not quite sure whether that is supposed to be metal jewelry around his arm or not. But I'm going to do it as such. And that will be when we come to do the um, the sword, which will be very, very soon. And I've just noticed a little bit of the flesh I haven't done. So I'm going into back into the flesh tone that we mixed earlier to do that. <coughs> And there's other parts that look quite pale at the moment. Just like so. Cover them all up. I'm trying to get a universal flat colour that we can work from. There we are. And next is going to be the metal parts. Now I'm not going to put this on the palette because these are quite, or these are usually quite um, watery anyway. But I'm just going to go over the sword with this and then I'm going to have to stop before I mess things up because my dizziness is coming back again I've been having problems with this for a few days So, I'll get this done as much as I can, and I'm going to have to stop and walk away for the time being, and come back to it when I'm feeling a bit better. Because one thing I do not want to do is completely mess this up. I do this while everything's spinning I'm going to so that's it for this video so far until next time as always take care God bless and bye